Welcome to the Trends in Automation podcast, brought to you by Festo. Festo can change the way you work with innovative and intelligent automation solutions, enabling your business to thrive in this rapidly changing environment. Hello, my name is Frank Langro, and I'm the Director of Product Market Management for Pneumatic Automation at Festo North America. In this episode of Trends in Automation, we'll be discussing Festo's series of energy efficiency air preparation modules with Randy DeForge, the product manager for air supply and accessories at Festo North America. Hi, Randy. Thanks for joining me today. Maybe we can start by discussing about energy requirements in manufacturing. Well, thank you, Frank. I'm happy to be here. I would like to begin by saying in today's industrial market, Energy conservation and manufacturing are almost synonymous. For decades, manufacturers have been looking for ways to reduce their energy consumption. As governmental mandates and other green initiatives continue to drive up the cost to produce electricity, manufacturers are equally invested in finding ways to reduce their electrical usage. When it comes to energy efficiency in the pneumatic automation market, there's a common belief that the two don't go together because of the energy it takes to produce compressed air. What do you have to say to this, Randy? While in part this may be true, it also begs the question, could this mental attitude towards pneumatics be leading to higher energy costs because opportunities to save energy are being overlooked? I think it is safe to say that the use of pneumatics in manufacturing is not going away anytime soon. The pneumatic products available today are vast, readily available, and easy to implement. This makes them an attractive choice for most applications in automation. As a result, end users are demanding smarter and more effective ways to optimize the pneumatic systems they use and reduce the cost to produce compressed air. What are some of the ways to improve the efficiency of pneumatic systems? There have been many papers written on ways to improve the energy efficiency of pneumatics. Things like reducing the pressure on a return stroke of a cylinder, don't oversize the components needed for the application, and minimize the leakage. However, nearly all the papers written on the topic will state shutting down equipment when not in use is one of the easiest ways to save an enormous amount of energy. I'd like to quote a statement made from a well-written white paper put out by Automation Direct. It states, Shutting down the machine when not working seems obvious. However, many installations have no automatic way to stop the flow of air to idle machines. Well, this statement is no longer true. Festo has developed a family of product with the capability of doing exactly that, to stop the flow of air to an idle machine. It's called the MSE6 Series Energy Efficiency Module. This seems like an ingenious approach. Can you tell us a bit more about these energy efficiency modules? Built on the popular MS Series Air Preparation product line and its modular platform, the MSE Series begins with the MSE6 E2M. This is the first of its kind intelligence service unit that automatically shuts off the air supply to the equipment or process when in standby mode. This unit is made up of a normally open electric on-off valve, a flow sensor, an integrated pressure sensor and field bus node. The available field bus interfaces are Profibus, Profinet, EtherCAT, and Ethernet IP. As with all variants of the MSE series, the E2M is provided with G1/2 ports and will monitor flow from 50 to 5,000 liters per minute. Shutting off the supply of air when the machine is in standby is not the only thing the E2M will do. Once pressure is off, it will then continue to measure the system pressure for leakage and sends an alert if any is detected. Leakage can also be detected while the equipment is in operation. The E2M has the capability of detecting when there is a pressure drop greater than the predefined value as well as a spike in flow above a predefined value. In both cases, This would indicate possible leakage and trigger a user-defined alert. Of course, eliminating leaks not only saves energy, it also brings the equipment back to normal operating specifications, which ensures quality operation of the machine, optimum throughput, and higher overall equipment effectiveness, otherwise known as OEE. Based on what you just told us, I'm assuming that the monitoring is in real time. Is this right? Yes, this is correct. 
By providing real-time monitoring, the operators have access to up-to-the-minute process-related data as well as comparative data over time. Values for flow rate, air consumption, and pressure are continuously available. Comparative data can help personnel determine historical trends in consumption, the amount of air consumed per batch of product, also provide pressure and flow values at the time of malfunction or bad product batch. Condition monitoring and energy efficiency are common themes for smart manufacturing, Industry 4.0, and the E2M easily addresses both. As I understood it, the MSE E2M module will shut off the air supply to an idle machine. However, there are some conditions where you may need to keep pressure to hold a cylinder in place or enable the continuous operation of an air bearing. How could a system containing these items be made to be more energy efficient? For these instances, typically the amount of pressure needed is much lower than the pressure needed during normal operation. Should this be the case, Festo offers the MSE6C2M energy efficiency module. The C2M is an intelligent combination of proportional pressure regulation, an electric on-off valve, and an integrated pressure and flow sensors and field bus communications. Like the E2M, the C2M will also continuously monitor the compressed air consumption and will shut off the air supply automatically when the system goes into standby and after a predefined wait period. However, instead of bringing the pressure down to zero, the C2M will prevent the system pressure from falling below a predefined standby pressure level. Energy is saved by maintaining a much lower pressure level without totally depressurizing the system and compromising proper functionality of certain components within the machine. The C2M can automatically detect leakage over time and reports it back to the controller. With the integration of proportional regulation, not only can it regulate system pressure, but it also provides soft start functionality at startup. It can also be fully integrated into the machine's network via PROFINET. All measured values such as pressure and flow are available in the PLC or the cloud and can be displayed in real time or further processed individually. In addition, the MSE6 C2M is supplied with two integrated digital input and output ports which can be controlled via the PLC. What would a common use be for the digital inputs and outputs that are available with the C2M version? Well, let's say someone wanted to use the C2M without the use of a master PLC. With a 24-volt DC signal, they could turn on the auto shutoff function of the C2M and then send another signal to reopen the valve for normal operation. It could also be used to reset consumption values. The output could be used to operate warning lights as a visual indication the pressure has dropped below a predefined level or the flow has exceeded a predefined level. So if I'm understanding this correctly, the C2M version and the E2M version are basically identical with the exception that the C2M would offer the opportunity to maintain pressure in the machine to a preset level as opposed to seeing a decaying pressure go all the way to zero, which would be the case with the E2M module. Yes, that's absolutely right, Frank. Now, there's one more unit in this family of energy-saving modules, the MSE6D2M. Can you tell me how this differs from the E2M and C2M units? Sure. As you mentioned, the D2M extension module is the last member of the MSE family. As an extension of the MSE6C2M, it provides a cost-effective means to monitor a secondary line and provide all the same energy-saving functionality of the E2M and without the cost of an additional field bus node. This means it will monitor a secondary pneumatic line for flow and pressure and will also detect when the machine has been idle for a specified period and will automatically shut off the air supply. It will also provide leak detection and process-relevant data for condition monitoring. Now, because the MSE6D2M does not have the field bus node, it must be connected as an extension of the C2M or as an extension to the Festo CPX terminal. Therefore, the energy efficiency and condition monitoring functions can be implemented inexpensively. When I think of energy efficiency, I immediately think of the end user's concerns, but this series of products really can be of interest to both OEMs as well as end users. Can you elaborate on this? Yes. I would 
certainly consider MSE series a win-win product for both OEM and end users alike. The MSE6 series is an obvious win for the end user through the energy saving features and the condition monitoring capabilities of their production lines. OEMs are seeing the benefit of the MSE series as a win as well by giving them the ability to market their product and equipment with focus on energy savings and condition monitoring, two important concepts behind Industry 4.0. This, of course, adds to the improved return on investment for their customers. This has been really informative and gives us a new perspective on how pneumatic systems can be made to be more energy efficient. Is there anything left to add? Well, to summarize, the MSE series energy efficiency modules are the first of their kind innovative and intelligent products the industrial automation market has been looking for. They provide the ability to shut down or reduce system pressure when machines are non-productive or sitting idle. They also detect leakage, monitor the process for pressure and flow, send alerts for changing conditions, and ultimately help keep the equipment being monitored in top performing condition. They do this while using less energy and saving on operational costs, enjoying less downtime and maximizing throughput of the highest quality. Thanks, Randy. I think you've really summed it up quite nicely. Thanks everyone for listening to this episode of Trends in Automation brought to you by Festo. Check out our other episodes for the latest info on the newest trends in automation. Thank you for listening to the Trends in Automation brought to you by Festo. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe and stay up to date on future episodes. You can now listen on iTunes, Google Play, and various podcast platforms. For more information on this and more, please visit Festo.com. Thanks again for listening, and until next time.